All right, turning back to weather, meteorologist Colleen Campbell is with us. And Colleen, still tracking those tropics with Tropical Storm Gabrielle. That's right, Emerald. So Gabrielle is still out there, still staying steady at those winds, 65 miles per hour. Also, didn't notice a big drop in the pressure, at least recently. We did have a drop in the pressure in the last 24 hours. And look how slow the system's moving now. It's just moving at 9 miles per hour. So it has plenty of time to hang out in that bath wall. Water, right get itself together we're seeing nice convection here almost looks like it could be a hurricane right uh, we are waiting for that eye to appear so we likely will have our second hurricane of the season that's right we've only had one the other one being Aaron this will likely turn into a hurricane Miss Gabrielle by tomorrow so looking pretty healthy right now the good news is that it is not really going to have much of an impact when it comes to land so Bermuda is right here. It's actually covered up by this box. Once the screen moved, the box really covered it up there. But this is the latest track. So uh, the recon, the, they went inside and investigated the storm today and kind of flew around there. And they determined that the storm was a little bit further out to the east. So you notice that the cone is really taking that nice curve, something that we like to see. So it's missing Bermuda to the east. Yes, there will still be some effects to Bermuda, but they will have uh, the worst of the weather, I should say, would be on the right side. Bermuda is going to be on the left side of the storm. So that's something we'd like to see, number one. Number two, look how far it is from the U.S. We don't have to worry about this by any means here at home, especially. But even for our friends along the East Coast, now they will have some rough surf out there as well as uh, some flooding concerns, maybe. But again, that would be as it kind of makes that uh, curve and heads out to sea. Uh, eventually it will turn into a category two hurricane, but again, it will be far out to sea by then and we don't have to worry about it. Getting back into the tropics here. Here's that wave still looking a little sloppy at this time. It only has a 20% chance of development that has not budged that chance of development in the last few days here. And one of the reasons why, well, we have two reasons. One, we had that shear that this is trying to outrun and get into a comfy zone where that shear is not disturbing it. And two, we had some drier air, Saharan dust coming off the coast of Africa, which has also been delaying that development. By the way, here's another look at Gabrielle. Definitely looks like it will be a hurricane soon. It has that structure. 